Hello my friends. In this video we are going to continue the PVTI tutorial and if you remember from the last uh, video we already entered our composition we defined two experiments flash calculations and we see the phase envelope for the composition that we had. Now we are going to see how we can enter the uh, data experimental data into the PVTI and how we can compare the result of uh, PVTI calculation and the experimental data. So let's discover what we can do in the PVTI. So uh, in the top corner we have file. So in this file you, you can save uh, uh, your model, you can save the for example PVTI uh, simulation, you can open new simulation and so on. So it's a regular uh, save, open, close uh, window for the everything. But the important thing is the edit. So if you go to the edit, uh, you have fundamentals. So if you click on fundamentals, you, you will notice that fundamentals are the exactly the same uh, window that you had in the first when you open the uh, first open the PVTI. So here you have different composition that you already entered in the PVTI and the uh, molar percentage for the different compositions. The next item in the edit is the Floyd model. So in the Floyd model, you have equation of states. So it means that uh, you can change the equation of states to, for the simulation. For example, here, uh, this model we use Peng Robinson three parameters, but you can change it, for example, to SRK. Okay, and click on OK. It will say that equation of state is going to change, and you can say that OK. And now uh, the PVTI simulated the model with a different equation of state. So you can, for example, change the phase envelope. Uh, Another thing that you we have here is a components. And so again, if you look at this one in the components tab, you will notice that you already have the components that you entered in the PVTI. But it says that, for example, for CO2, uh, I get the properties of CO2 from library. For N2, I get the properties from the library. But for C12+, plus, I characterize the uh, component. So if you want to see what is the exactly properties that for the each component, you can go to complete tab. And in the complete tab, you have everything related to that component. For example, for C CO2, you have molecular weight, critical pressure, critical temperature, omega A, omega B, and so on, as entry factor, and so on. So you can check everything here and all of this comes from the library of the PVTI except C2L plus that you it's characterized the PVTI is characterized the C2 L plus based on the molecular weight and the specific gravity that you already entered to the PVTI. If you go to the library, it says that uh, C CO2 to C11 comes from the library, but C2 L plus is not in the part of the library. And this is a component that user defined. And for characterization of the C12+, plus, if you do the characterization tab, it says that uh, we use the Kessler-Lee correlation for the critical property and uh, we use Kessler-Lee for the asymptotic property correlation. So you can change it for the different uh, property calculation. For example, you can uh, choose for example Pedersen or other uh, properties that you want to for example use that specific correlation to predict the properties of heavy plus fractions and also you can click on the plot specific gravity versus molecular weight and if you back to the model in PVTI you will notice that a specific gravity of C12 plus is, is um, uh, plotted versus the molecular weight. If you use, for example, Kessler-Lee uh, correlation. 
Another things that we have here is a binary interaction coefficients. So this binary interaction coefficients is used, for example, in the when you are when you are modeling the your uh, PVT, you need these binary interactions, and you can find the exact number of binary interactions here in this table. But later for the uh, PVT tuning, you are going to change, maybe you are going to change this binary interaction because these binary interactions are the tuning parameters. The next thing that we have here is volume shift. If you click on the volume shift, because we already uh, selected SRK two parameters, it says that you don't have uh, parameter sh uh, volume shift parameters for this one. But if we back and Let's select, for example, change the equation it says to the, for example, three parameter. Okay, so this tab will be. A, so here we are. We can have the volume shift, and we can define the volume shift for the for our model. And another thing that we have here is the thermal properties that we don't need it right now. And viscosity coefficient, and it says that, for example, we uh, how we how PVTI is going to calculate the viscosity, and also we have split and grouping. So split and grouping is, for example, when you are going to do the PVT tuning, for example, maybe you want to split uh, C12, for example, plus uh, C12 plus components in different groups, or maybe you are going to uh, for example, the runtime in your simulation in the field unit simulation is too long, so you want to group some of the component to make to have a less component. So in that cases, you need to splitting and grouping. And the next uh, we have here is a sample. So we already um, uh, talk about the different uh, things that we can do in the Floyd model, and the next one is a sample. So in the samples, you have names. So if you click on the names, it says that you only have one sample and it is a default Floyd sample, okay? So you can define new sample. For example, imagine that you want to have a N2, for example, injection or gas injection. So you, you want to say, okay, Z2 is my new Floyd model and it is used for the gas injection, okay? Okay, if you click on okay, so here, in addition of Z1 that we already defined before, we have Z2 here, and we want to, for example, have a define the edit mode fraction for the Z2, and we want to, for example, simulate to simulate the fluid properties of the nitrogen injection that has a gas injection that has 80% of the nitrogen and 20% of, for example, CO2. So if we click on OK. So you have here another fluid that you want to, for example, inject to the to your model. So here, in samples, you can define many uh, many compositions. For example, for the gas flooding or other EOR, for example, PV, EOR PVTI experiments uh, and scenarios. The next one is the compositions. So here you can see the composition for the Z1 that is the main fluid that we already had and this uh, and composition for the Z2 that we defined afterwards. Next is a, a salinity or the a salinity and other parameters that says sal because we don't have any salinity so we define we didn't define any salinity and if you click it says that you, you didn't define any salinity and next is a mixture so if you want for example mix a, a z2 with a z1 you can use that one but we, we are not going to use it and then the last one is a clean so the next one we already talked about the property estimation and so for example if you want to use a flash calculation or if you want to define another experiment you can define it here uh, and you you can estimate the properties in the for example different uh, different pressure and temperature uh, but the next one is a very important and we are going to focus uh, on this one right now it's the experiments so 
if you remember uh, we are going to uh, simulate the exercise 25 from the Danish and in the exercise 25 it says that we have pressure volume test at 195 degrees Fahrenheit and we have pressure and the relative volume and density here we want to enter this uh, test this this PVT test inside the PVTI so let's back to PVTI so I'm going to explain once again go to edit experiments so you are going to have this tab it says that you already defined two experiments as you can see here we have flash one and flash two as the two experiments that we already defined here and here we have one add so click on add what kind of experiments you want to define okay if it is single point for example you want to define uh, saturation pressure test okay so you can click on here and it says that for which uh, fluid sample you are going to define it so for z1 or z2 you say that for example for z1 and click on next and in which temperature for example 195 degrees next and you can see that the, the uh, PSAT uh, the PSAT is created here in under the Z1 but here a pressure depression is or constant compositional expansion will be the our next uh, pressure our next experiment that we want to define as we have it here pressure volume test so pressure volume test is another name is the constant composition expansion and it means that the cons if we are putting the fluid inside the pvt cell and we are reducing the pressure and measuring the volume of the fluid volume of the oil and the gas and based on the relative volume we are going to calculate for example what will be the bubble point pressure so here click on add and in the pressure depression, click on, for example, compos uh, constant compositional expansion. Okay, and this is gonna going to be for the Z one, and we are we have observation because we already have a test here, and in the observation, the the observation should be related to the pressure, and and it says that what kind of observation do you have? We have here. So if you have, for example liquid density uh, or liquid saturation or liquid viscosity you can define it here but we have relative volume here because if you back to the book it says that we have pressure versus relative volume versus density okay so i'm going to insert the these two but because of the time but it will be the same for the density as well so if you want to insert densities, you can click on the here in the next observation and you can select, for example, liquid density. Okay, but for the time, because for the time of the video, I'm not going to enter that one. So here I, we, are, I, we are going to enter the pressure versus rate of volume and click on next. So in the next, you, you have this table and in this table, you need to enter the uh, values okay so let's enter a couple of these values here uh, okay so let's see okay so the first row is a uh, for example, 570.12 PSI and the next one, the relative volume for related to that is a 0 0.9804. If you had the density, you, you are going to have another column here for the density. So you can enter the density there. The next one is a uh, here, 512. 5427 so you, you can put it here okay 500 5427 0 0.98949 
So I'm, I'm not going to enter all of them. So I'm going to just enter some of them as an example. So the next one is a 5137. 0.9897 so the next one let's enter this one okay so it's uh, 4850 and the relative volume will be 0 0.9947 0 The next one is, for example, this one. This one is important because it's the relative volume here is a one, so it's uh, the bubble point pressure should be there. So it is one. And the next one, let's enter four four nine two one point zero zero thirty eight. Next one will be, for example, this one, 4281, and the relative volume will be 1.015. If you remember that this is from the PVTI course, uh, we use this, this uh, test to predict the, predict the bubble point pressure for, the, for our system. And we know that when the relative volume is uh, around, for example, 1, is a 1, not round ones. When, when the relative volume is a one, it, it, it says that bubble point pressure is uh, it shows the bubble point pressure of the flow sample. For example, here in this uh, case, the relative volume that's a one, the the pressure corresponding to that one is a four 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 five six six, which is showing that the bubble point pressure for this fluid is a, a four five six six. Anyway. So one nine and the last one that I'm going to enter is a three three for example one four and one point one zero five five okay so you can enter the, the rest of the data as well but I'm I'm not gonna going to enter all of them so just one is okay these are okay to show as an example. So click on next. And in the next, it says that what temperature this this uh, in which temperature this test test has been conduct conducted. So we know that it's 195 degrees Fahrenheit. If you click here and you click on next, you you will see that we define another experiment and another experiment is defined here. So click on close and back to the CC test that we already created here and click on plot. If you see here, the model, our the simulation, PVTI, calculated this line for the CCE test. But our experiments, our the experimental data are this line almost, okay? So we have a slightly different between the PVTI calculation and the observation that we already have here. So these dots, if you see here, are the observation that we already entered here. So we there are some differences. So these differences should be minimized in the tuning of the model. So tuning means that you are going to change some of some parameters, for example, a heavy fraction molecular weight or the binary interactions to minimize the difference between these observations and this calculation. So in the next video, we are going to talk about that. So.